Hello there, this is Mazamir Girma. Uh, I'm a teacher at Debra Brahan University in Ethiopia. And in this video, I'll be teaching basic Amharic based on a suggestion by one of my students who had a Skype lesson with me. And our very first lesson was on the numbers and the relative pronouns, days of the week, and personal pronouns. So she liked the lesson I gave her and she suggested I make a video on these lessons. And she said the model I make was impressive that she had a better chance than the videos she came across on YouTube. So let's go with the numbers. The numbers in Amharic just will be doing numbers 1 to 10. And I'll be saying them twice. And you can stop the video and repeat after me. And, and, Hulet, Hulet, Sost, Sost, and Hulet, Sost. This is one, two, three. Arat, Amist, Sedist. Arat, Arat, Amist, Amist, Sedist, Sedist. Four, five, six. Arat, Amist, Sedist. Sabat cement zetain. Sabat cement zetain. Sabat, sabat, cement, cement, zetain, zetain. Aser, aser, ten. So the letters, um, these numbers start with, for example, and number one, arat number four, amist five. And Aser are the same. It is the A ah sound. However, the numbers Hulet, which is 2, Sost, 3, Arat, 4, Amist, 5, Sedist, 6, Sabat, 7, Cement, 8. These end with the two sound. So, which number is your favorite? You can start the video anywhere you want and say the numbers. So these are the numbers. If you know Arabic, they have resemblance with Arabic. Now let Let's go to the related pronouns. Min, what? Min, what? Man, who? Man, who? Yet, where? Yet, where? Machi, when? Machi, when? Lemon, why? Lemon, why? And it, how? And it, how? Yet in your, which? Yet in your, which? Or sometimes, yet to, which? Yet to, which? If you are referring to a woman or something feminine, you would say, yet in your, yet in your, which? So I like uh, man and yet. Man is, it looks like the English man. And yet looks like the English yet. So man is who and yet is where. When we come to the days of the week, we have, as you have in English, seven of them. <laughs> I say this because there, there are some African cultures which are four days in a week. Sanyo, Monday. The Ethiopian 
calendar has Monday as the first day of the week, unlike the English one. Sanyo, Monday. Tuesday is easy to remember if you are able to say Sanyo. Tuesday is just you add Mac as a prefix. Mac, Sanyo is Tuesday. Mac, Sanyo. Wednesday depends on whether you are talking to a an educated person or not. An educated person who uses formal Amharic would say Rabu. Rabu. But the normal people would say Rob. Rob. It's like Rob. You rob somebody. You rob. So Rob or Rabu. Hamus is Thursday. Hamus. Like the Arabic Kamis. I think they say Kamis. Hamus. Arb Friday. Arb Friday. Kedami. Saturday. So you learn to say Kedami instead of Kedami because it will be hard to say the K sound. Uhud. Sunday. Uhud. Sunday. In relation to days, I think you have to learn how to say yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Yesterday is tenant, whereas today is zari, tomorrow is nega. So, do you find it hard? If you find it hard anywhere, you can just stop the video and practice. Or you can ask me in the comments below. Let's go to relative pronoun. No, personal pronouns. <clears throat> the personal pronouns, sorry. Any, I. Any, I. Enya, we. Enya, we. Anta, you for masculine. Anchi, you for feminine. Anchi. You for feminine. Also for respect. You for respect. Ananta, you for plural. Ananta, you for plural. Usu, he. Usu, he. Usa, she. Usa, she. Eat. For eat. It depends on whether you are talking to something adorable like the sun or something beautiful. So it could be feminine. You can say so. Or if you are talking about something you consider masculine, like the, the door, if you consider it masculine, you can say so. So, yeah. Anasu. 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 They. Anasu. And in the present tense, what do we use for these seven relative pronouns? What verb goes with them? Like when we say I am, what replaces am? Any name, I am, name, name, am, name, am. Enya nen, we are. Enya nen, we are. Anta nech, you are. So when you say nen for we, for I nen, for we, enya nen, for you we say, for masculine, anta ne, anta ne. So, even if it is in English, even if it is R, we are and you are, it varies in Amharic. Anta ne, you are for masculine. Anchi nesh, you are for feminine. Anchi nesh, nesh. So, masculine is she, then you can associate. Anchi nesh, nesh. Anta ne, he. Also, no. 
እርሶ ነውት ፎር ሪስፔክት እናንተ ናችሁ እናንተ ናችሁ ፎር ፕሎር ዩ አር ዩ አር ፎር ፕሎር እርሶ ነውት ዩ አር ፎር ሪስፔክት እርሱ ነው ሂ ኢዝ ፎር ሂ ኢዝ እርሱ ነች ሺ ኢዝ እርሱ ነች she is it depends whether you are talking about feminine or masculine so asuna usanich so you can use what you use for third person masculine or feminine anasu nacho anasu nacho they are so this is my lesson for today and if you like it you can share subscribe and i'll be coming with more videos and you can contact me for any uh, clarification you can use my facebook which is my name mazamir girma m e z e m i r girma g i r m a or my email is m e z e m i r at yahoo.com just my name and at yahoo.com i'll help you master the english language the amharic language sorry if you are living in ethiopia it's good to know the language of the native so that you feel at home and if you are coming to ethiopia to visit or for research for any purpose knowing survival amharic helps and i am confident that you learn it feel free to ask the amharic language is a very simple language the script the saben script the amharic script can be learned freely like easily you can master it but if you think you find the script difficult you can use the roman script and as to writing you may write in the roman script if you feel learning the amharic one is hard but you can find some applications that teach you so thank you for watching and i hope you'll master the amharic language in a short time thank you